This is 1917 D. Lincoln sent in MS-66 plus red condition. Comes with CAC approval. According to NGC, a very large mint for the Denver Mint led to comprises in quality, as the dyes were used long after they ceased to be fit. Circulated examples are common in lower grades, but XF and AU coins are surprisingly difficult to find without damage or corrosion. Mint state BN or Airbay pieces are not too challenging, but fully red scents are rare. This specimen was sold for $40,510.12 with buyer's fee. Number 3. Here is 1925 S. Lincoln Penny with repunched mint mark. Another super rare gem with CAC confirmation. Despite a fairly substantial mintage, 1925 S. Cents of desirable quality are quite scarce. Worn examples are quite common from widespread hoarding during the 1930s 50s, and mint state pieces of so so quality are likewise available. Fully red gems are very rare and tend to be much darker in shade than Philadelphia mint scents. This is highly sought after error variety with repunched S over S. It was sold for $42,249.99 with buyer's fee. Number 2. Here is 1914 D. Lincoln sent in MS-66 red condition. According to Heritage Auctions, although the 1909 SVDB is considered the key date to the Lincoln Cent series, its conditional rarity falls far behind that of many other dates, particularly in the finer red grades. The 1914 D stands out in this regard, confirming its key date status. Only 1.1 million Lincoln Cents were struck at the Denver Mint in 1914, and few high-quality specimens were saved by contemporary collectors. As a result, it is many times scarcer in MS-65 red than the 1909 SVDB, and is prohibitively rare any finer. This one was sold for $81,075. Number 1. This is 1910 Lincoln sent in PR-68 red condition. According to NGC, the coins were not sandblast after striking like the gold proofs, but rather have the natural texture imparted by the dyes. Since the models for the Lincoln Sen had textured surfaces to reduce glare, a style in vogue among artists at the time, this feature is most evident on proofs due to their fuller strikes. In addition, the proof dyes were lightly sandblasted to give them the fine, crystalline grain unique to the proofs. This highly sought-after gem ended up selling for $165,937.50 with buyer's fee. Thanks for watching this video till the end. Your likes, comments and subscriptions are highly appreciated. Stay well and see you in the next episode.